Hello, my name is Martina. Welcome to today's Q&A all about the International Space Station. So, the International Space Station is a giant science lab up in the space. And astronauts have been on board right from the year 2000, so for nearly 20 years. Somebody's been living in this. This model that we have behind is a scale model. The real thing is about 20 times bigger than what we have got here. And it didn't start this size. It started much smaller, and then crews of astronauts made it bigger and bigger, and then expanded it to how it looks today. The ISS is 300 miles above the Earth and is travelling at an incredible 17,500 miles an hour. So it only takes an hour and a half to get the whole way around the Earth once. For the crews and the astronauts on board the space station, they're seeing sunrise and sunset 16 times in a day. So what are astronauts doing up there in space? Well, part of their job is to do tests to find out what it's like to live up there in space, to do tests on their body, different experiments, grow plants, to find out if humans really can live in this microgravity environment. This will further help our research into finding out whether humans can travel and live on the moon or Mars, or perhaps even further afield. British astronaut Tim Peake spent six months conducting research on board the ISS. He shared many demos online, did live TV interviews and even ran the London Marathon. He used bungee cords to help him stay on his treadmill and then he followed a virtual race route on his laptop seeing the London landmarks as he went. Here on Earth, gravity is keeping us on the floor, stopping us from floating around space station there's very little gravity or it feels like there's very little gravity sometimes it's called zero gravity but technically it's more of a micro gravity Doing somersaults in space is pretty easy once your body gets used to floating and the crew stop feeling motion sick after the first day So when it comes to eating in Astronauts tend to drink their drinks through straws to stop any liquid escaping. And most food comes in packets that can be eaten at room temperature or can be rehydrated with hot water. Other foods like nuts and sweets remain the same as they would on Earth. So astronauts have little sleeping quarters with a sleeping bag attached to the wall. They can climb in, zip themselves up, and then they often leave their arms floating in the air. Other things that we all do every single day, maybe like getting washed, brushing our teeth, So brushing your teeth in space is much like here on Earth, except you can't spit out into a sink. So instead, some spit into a towel or a tissue, and others just simply swallow the toothpaste. Make sure to cut your nails or hair near an air vent so that they get sucked in and don't float around, and have a vacuum handy to get rid. No rinse shampoo rubbed in with a tiny bit of water washes hair and soap on a cloth is used for washing their bodies also with a little bit of warm water. Now there's one other thing that often people have to do every single day. Air from a fan creates a suction and any urine can get recycled and reused again on board. Any other waste gets vacuum packed and stored for disposal in these little plastic bags. Notice the handles for holding on and does that seat look comfortable to you? So if you have any questions all about the International Space Station, 
Comment below and we'll get them all answered for you.